Welcome back artists to Acrylic Arts Academy, your one-stop destination for all things art. We're thrilled to have you join us on this creative journey. Today, we're diving deep into the world of painting with our special series, Masterstroke 10 Painting Tips from the Masters. From the vivid strokes of Van Gogh to the precision of Vermeer, we're going to explore the techniques that made these artists legendary. So grab your paints, your brushes, and most importantly, your imagination. Let's get started. Remember, every artist was first an amateur, so don't be afraid to make mistakes, and most importantly, have fun. After all, art is about expressing yourself. So, are you ready to dream your painting? You imagine the world through the eyes of Vincent van Gogh, a painter who was never appreciated during his lifetime, but now his works are among the most expensive and most loved in the world. A man of immense passion, van Gogh painted with a drive and intensity that was unmatched. His life was not one of ease. He faced rejection, poverty, and battled mental health issues. Yet he never let these struggles deter him from his love for art. His perseverance is a testament to his unwavering dedication to his craft. From the vivid yellows of his sunflowers to the swirling blues of starry night, each stroke on his canvas was a piece of his soul, a testament to his relentless pursuit of artistic expression. Van Gogh once said, I dream my painting, and then I paint my dream. This is the first tip from our masters, dream your painting. Claude Monet, the father of French Impressionism, taught us the power of observation. His approach to art was much like a scientist to nature. He studied it, observed it, and sought to understand it deeply. He wasn't merely content to paint a scene once. Instead, he would paint the same scene over and over again at different times of the day, through the changing seasons and under varying weather conditions. His goal was to capture the fleeting effects of light and color. His series of water lilies, haystacks, and ruined cathedral are testament to this meticulous practice. He showed us that observing the world around us is not a passive act. It's an active process that requires patience, focus, and curiosity. It's about seeing the extraordinary in the ordinary, the magic in the mundane. So, the next time you pick up your brush, remember Monet's second tip to us is observe before you paint. Pablo Picasso, a man of many talents, found his true passion in painting. Picasso's life was a testament to the power of passion. His dedication to painting was not a casual hobby, but a deep, consuming love that drove him to create over 50,000 works of art in his lifetime. Each stroke, each dash of color, was a piece of his soul materialized on canvas. Passionate about every aspect of his craft, Picasso explored different styles, techniques, and mediums. From the blue period to cubism, his passion fueled his endless pursuit of innovation and mastery. Picasso didn't just paint, he lived and breathed his art. His ceaseless creativity, his bold experimentation, his relentless drive all stemmed from his passion. He once said, the purpose of art is washing the dust of daily life off our souls. Picasso's passion for painting was his way of dusting off his soul. Picasso's third tip is, be passionate about your art. Jackson Pollock, a major figure in the abstract expressionist movement, was not afraid to experiment. His art was a symphony of drips, splashes, and splatters, a stark contrast to the traditional brush and canvas approach. Pollock's style was born from a desire to break free, to explore the uncharted territories of his artistic soul. He didn't just paint, he danced with colors, he played with textures, he truly interacted with his art. His technique, often referred to as action painting, was a testament to his belief that art was not just about the final product, but also about the process. Pollock's canvas was his stage, his paintbrushes and cans, his instruments, and every painting was a performance. Pollock was unafraid to push boundaries, to explore new techniques, to let his creativity flow freely. He was a pioneer, a maverick, an experimenter. So Pollock's fourth tip is, don't be afraid to experiment. Johannes Vermeer, known for his detailed and precise works, showed us the importance of precision. Now, when we say precision, we're talking about an artist who was so meticulous that he produced only about three dozen paintings in his lifetime. Vermeer's attention to detail was nothing short of extraordinary. Each stroke of his brush, every dab of paint, was placed with a deliberation that bordered on obsession. His paintings shimmer with a luminosity that's a testament to his painstaking methods. What can we learn from Vermeer? 
Well, his artworks tell us that precision pays off. The play of light and shadow, the intricate textures, the exquisite details, all these elements in his paintings reward the viewer's eye and stand the test of time. Vermeer's approach teaches us that in the pursuit of art, every detail matters. So let's take a leaf out of Vermeer's book and remember. Vermeer's fifth tip is, be precise and pay attention to detail. Katsushika Hokusai, a Japanese ukiyo-e painter, taught us the beauty of simplicity. His work, revered for its simplicity, perfected the art of saying more with less. Hokusai's compositions, often featuring everyday scenes or natural phenomena, demonstrate that an artist doesn't need complexity to create impact. In his renowned series, 36 Views of Mount Fuji, Hokusai beautifully captured the mountain's majestic presence through different seasons and viewpoints, all with an uncomplicated style and minimum color palette. His approach allowed the viewer's mind to fill in the details, creating a deeper, more personal connection with the art. Hokusai's work is a testament to the power of simplicity, encouraging artists to strip away the unnecessary, to focus on the core essence of a subject. The simplicity in his art is not a lack of detail, but a distillation of it. It reminds us that sometimes the most profound statements are made in the simplest of strokes. Hokusai's sixth tip is keep it simple. Frida Kahlo, an artist who wasn't afraid to be bold, showed us the power of boldness in art. She was a force to be reckoned with, a beacon of resilience who painted her reality no matter how raw or painful. Her vibrant works, teeming with vivacious colors and striking imagery, were a mirror to her fiery personality and the tumultuous life she led. Kahlo's art was unapologetically hers, a testament to her audacity, her spirit. Each brushstroke, bold and deliberate, told a story. Whether it was the intense self-portraits that laid bare her deepest emotions, or the surrealistic works that defied convention, Kalo's boldness was her signature. Her art was not just about creating pretty pictures. It was about bearing her soul, about being audacious enough to present the world as she saw it, without sugarcoating or shying away from the harsh realities. And that's what made her work unforgettable. Kalo's seventh tip is be bold in your art. Salvador Dali, a surrealist artist, showed us the power of imagination. This Spanish painter, known for his distinctive mustache and eccentric personality, created mind-bending works that pushed the boundaries of reality. Dali's paintings, from the melting clocks in The Persistence of Memory to the dreamlike landscapes of The Disintegration of the Persistence of Memory, sprang from an imagination unfettered by the conventional. Dali believed that the wildest and most profound creations could only be born from the depths of the subconscious mind. He was a master of tapping into his dreams and hallucinations, using them as inspiration for his art. His approach encourages us to look within ourselves, to tap into our own dreams and subconscious thoughts, and let them guide our brushstrokes. It's a reminder that our imaginations are vast and capable of creating extraordinary art. So, remember to let your mind wander, to dream, and to imagine. These are the keys to unlocking your own unique artistic style. Dali's eighth tip is, use your imagination. Georges Seurat, a post-impressionist painter, taught us the importance of patience. This French artist is known for pioneering the painting technique known as pointillism a process that involves the painstaking application of small distinct dots of color which, when viewed from a distance, blend together to form an image. It's a technique that requires an almost meditative focus and a great deal of patience. Imagine having to paint an entire canvas dot by dot. It's a slow, meticulous process, but the result is a unique, vibrant picture full of life and energy. Surat's most famous work, A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte, demonstrates this technique beautifully. It's said to have taken him over two years to complete, painstakingly applying each dot of paint. Surat's approach to painting is a gentle reminder that great art often requires time and patience. It's not always about rushing to the finish line. Surat's ninth tip is, be patient. Bob Ross, a painter known for his calming presence, taught us to find joy in painting. This gentle, curly-haired artist brought a sense of peace to our screens, transforming blank canvases into breathtaking landscapes with just a few strokes of his brush. 
But more than teaching us techniques, Ross taught us an attitude. He loved painting, and it showed. His enthusiasm was contagious, making the act of painting seem less like a chore and more like an adventure. Each stroke of his brush was a new discovery, a new opportunity to create something beautiful. He didn't just paint, he reveled in the process, and he invited us to do the same. Ross also had a unique perspective on mistakes. He famously said, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. This positive approach freed us from the fear of failure, allowing us to embrace every part of the painting journey, including the stumbles. Ross's 10th tip is find joy in painting. We have learned a lot from these master painters. We've journeyed through the dreams of Van Gogh, encouraging us to visualize our own artwork before the brush even touches the canvas. We've seen the importance of keen observation, as demonstrated by the meticulous Vermeer. Picasso taught us that passion is the lifeblood of every great painting, while Pollock urged us to break free from convention and experiment with our own styles. Hokusai showed us that simplicity can speak volumes and Kahlo reminded us to be bold, to pour our emotions and experiences into our work. Dali's whimsical landscapes showed us the power of imagination while Surat's pointillist technique emphasized the virtue of patience. And finally, Bob Ross, with his happy little trees, taught us to find joy in every stroke, every color, every creation. Remember, every master was once a beginner. So take these tips and start creating your own masterpiece. Here at Acrylic Arts Academy, we believe in the power of art to inspire, to heal, to communicate, and we want to make it accessible to everyone. That's why we offer free painting courses for all levels of artists. Whether you're a novice with a dream or an artist looking to explore new techniques, we have something for you. We highly recommend our Acrylic Painting Foundations course designed specifically for beginners. Spanning seven modules over 30 days, it's designed to provide you with a solid foundation in acrylic painting. From understanding the basics of color theory to mastering the different brush strokes, this course will guide you as you embark on your artistic journey. So, what are you waiting for? Join us at Acrylic Arts Academy and let your creativity flow. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Happy painting!